In this case, it is shown that uh, there is a hollow charged conductor, whatever may be the shape, and it has a very tiny hole cut anywhere. And we have to show that just at the mouth of the hole, the electrostatic field strength is sigma by 2 epsilon naught n, where n is the unit vector in the outward normal direction, and sigma is the surface charge density. Let us say that there is a small hole here. So therefore, there is a discontinuity at this particular point. And you consider it to be just separate here, a small part, and enlarge it. This is the very small part, we are enlarging it, and it contains the same sigma as the surface charge density. We know that very near to a conductor at its surface, the field strength on either side it will be equal to 2 divided by sigma divided by 2 epsilon naught, this side also sigma divided by 2 epsilon naught. This is the field strength. Now, for a particular conductor very near to, at any point, suppose there is. This is also sigma divided by 2 epsilon naught. Now, when we have marked a small gap, then what will happen? Just inside the gap, before the gap was created, the field is 0. And just outside the gap, the field was sigma by 2 epsilon naught. So, when we replace this, let us enlarge it. This was the gap. And now, we have again replaced that part. So, exactly at this particular point, the contribution due to this part, which is now getting replaced, is sigma by 2 epsilon naught. And the contribution by the rest of the conductor will be again sigma by 2 epsilon naught. Then only we can have sigma by epsilon naught, sorry, sigma by epsilon naught as the net electrostatic field. So therefore, we get sigma by epsilon naught just at the other point, that is inside, where the conductor is carrying the charge as it is we have shown. So here, the field only due to this small part which was replaced is equal to sigma by 2 epsilon naught and due to the rest of the conductor should be just opposite sigma by 2 epsilon naught, then only the net field will be zero. So that means the answer is show that the electrostatic field in the hole is sigma by 2 epsilon naught. So electrostatic field very near to the hole after I replace it exactly at this particular point is due to the remaining portion of the conductor which will be equal to sigma by 2 epsilon naught after we remove this portion. So that is a small demonstration that was asked in this question.